Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another World War II 172 scale video. Today we're going to do something a little different. Look in this one uh, box here with uh, sorted parts and bits that I gathered up and uh, got together. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Uh, some of these things are more like 176 or maybe a couple things for ho like that uh, cat and crad. Just move over slowly and then I'll come back and take a look at everything. Got some more men. Over here, have some odds and end pieces here. You kind of see they look like something. We paint it up, put on the board. This has some couple of oil drums. They need to go back in the section with my regular oil drums. There's a can, and they got a little bit of track in there. Here, these guys are uh, metal. They go in like a brand carrier. You see, they're supposed to be British soldiers or Tommies. Right there. Of other guys, real small. This guy's on a, just a, for a stretcher. Here's a one I painted up. I think this was Pegasus brand. Uh, that's a deceased Russian soldier. There's another one here. Since I didn't, I don't use casualties on the war gaming stuff. I haven't uh, put them on a card. They could be in uh, a diorama or so. This is another, uh, I believe, one of the Pegasus brand sets. And then these guys, I think, came from some whole train, the ones that are brightly colored there. Got some uh, sandbag wall, loose sandbag, some glued up. Here, a window for something, some other little parts, some screens. So there's useful bits in here, and some of this could be used for like terrain or rubble. That could be part like a little, little bridge or something wooden. Let's see what we got over here. And there's a seat that's for like a seat right down there for. Uh, any aircraft gun, there's an engine. It could be sitting in a workshop or something, more engine type parts. Another soldier. I think that's uh, some parts and pieces of uh, people. Some more men. Let's see what this guy is. Because sometimes things get loose. Let's see, straight and out. A German soldier. Look at he's got a lot of gear on there and he's ready to go, so he's pretty useful. Get separate somehow. There's a, a Russian tank rider. Looks like he popped off. This is the glue. He was on something and he never got back on there. That. Some little end pieces, but I thought they were interesting. You might do something with that. Here, I think that's a 122 millimeter gun. It was in two different ways. This is like in the recoil or transfer mode or something. They painted it white. That's metal. You see more of trails and some gun parts in there. So, a barrel for them that looks like one of the stern shoots or a Mark IV. A little photo etch. Some other little pieces. It looks like a gas can there. And then I save sometimes little tiny pieces like this from. Uh, is that MDF board or something when you cut out and I make some of the buildings? I think that could be turned into a box painted and used for 
a kit on a tank, a couple of bases that weren't used, but that's molded and kind of nice. Yeah, look at this one, it has some stuff. Look at that, it's got like a rifle and some gear right there. It's in here, got little pieces. These are from the Zvezda kit, like banners, and they have then these things. I was thinking maybe like a sort of a, a gutter by a curb or something. Here's some different shells. A few of them have some brass and silver on it, and others unpainted. Not sure what all sizes those might be. And then I got a whole bunch of it. Looks like mainly L Panzer drive sprockets and wheels. There's an engine deck. I think that's from a Panther. That's from a big, uh, big silver one. It's from a metal gun. Or something there. Like I said, they could have to go. On with parts, spare parts on the vehicle in a little uh, factory setting or strewn around as rubble. And what's in this one? Uh, some more specific wheels. Oh, and that looks like the cleaning set from uh, maybe a Mark IV or something that they go on top of the deck. All right, so that was a look at this spare parts one. I think I did a spare parts one uh, on another video. I don't know if I've done them all. I'll leave a link to one in the end if I can find it in my videos. All right, something a little different. Or uh, 172 scale bits and parts. Until next time, thanks for watching, everyone.